I hope you're feeling phenomenal, fantastic, super awesome today. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna be killing it with the upper body blitz. So make sure you got some dumbbells ready. So here's how it's gonna work today. We're gonna hit biceps, we're gonna hit triceps. These two muscles only. We're gonna be supersetting the exercises, which means we'll do one exercise immediately followed with the next exercise. We're gonna do the first superset of 60 seconds, second superset, 45 seconds, and the third superset of 30 seconds. This workout should take us right around 25 minutes, so we're gonna keep the rest incredibly short. All right, so I'm gonna start the time, and then we're gonna start the workout. So get your music jamming, and let's do this thing. All right, so grab your dumbbells. The first two we're gonna start with. Alternating dumbbell curls, so we're gonna go right into it so we're not wasting any time on the clock here. So with this one, I want you to curl the dumbbells up. There you go, that means your palm rotates and your palm should face your chin when you come up. There you go, now no swinging on this, but I want you to get your rep count up with it. There you go, so not super slow, you should be able to get a good 15 reps on both arms by the time we're through with our 60 seconds. Now the second exercise we're gonna be going into as soon as we clear this one is called the hammer curl. We've done it several times. It's an old school one, it's a good one. It's one of the best ones you can do for toning up the arms. And a hammer curl, literally if you were to hammer a nail with your fist, is how you're gonna hold the dumbbells. So I'll show you, two seconds. So we're gonna be going into it in five seconds. All right, straight into it, no resting. And hammer curl, so bring them straight up. Right back down. See? So if there was a nail underneath the dumbbell, I would be able to hammer it right now. Now, I want you to keep them together. Bring them up together. Drop them down together. This is also why you got a lighter set of dumbbells, hopefully. Okay? So if you need to go to a lighter set, go for it. You need to alternate like that. Okay? I've said it in the past. It makes the exercise easier. Okay? Not much, but a little bit. But we're 30 seconds in on the hammer curl, so we're halfway there on this first set. We're gonna rest for about 10 seconds and we're gonna do our 45 second intervals, okay? So keep moving right now. Doing good, you got this. Come on. We're gonna make it. Those reps up. Keep pushing, dig deep on this, come on. I told you, I warned you on this one that it wouldn't be easy. Gotta keep my promise to you, three seconds. And relax, shake it up. All right, good, perfect. So only about 10 seconds, it's not a lot of time. Honestly, just enough for me to talk, get comfortable. Grab your dumbbells back, alternating curls in three, two, one, here we go. All right, so this one's gonna be 45 seconds. The second round is when you're gonna start to really feel it, okay? That first set, that was your warm up. Got the blood flowing, it told the muscles that it's time to work, that it's time to move. This set, that's when you're gonna feel it from here on out pretty much. It's just a downhill struggle from right now on, okay? That's okay. Good, keep moving. We got about 20 seconds left on these. Keep them going, and then we're going straight into hammer curls. Here you go. Also remember when you do these curls, you don't wanna drop the weights obviously, but you don't have to squeeze the dumbbell super tight either. We get tired, they grip really tight, it wears you out. All right, hammer curls. There you go. Come on. Give it your best. It may not be high reps, or it may not be super fast high reps. Still want you to push out the reps. Good, come on. Keep working, keep it up. You got this. That's it. Come on. Let's make those muscles work. Hope your legs are feeling nice and uh, sore from our Monday workout. I know mine are. Today's probably the source they've been, but that's about normal, usually two days out. You got about 10 seconds left of the hammer curls. Now, I'm alternating. You can alternate, keep them the same, or drop weight. I didn't want to drop weight. All right, set it down, shake it off. So the last set is only gonna be for 30 seconds. So again, it's not a whole lot of time. All right, you ready? In five, four, three, two, one, so alternating curls, here you go, bring them up. Now remember, even when you get tired, 
No swing. Just notice I bring the dumbbell all the way up, bring it down, and I pause it. Then I do the next rep on the other arm. That way I don't get into any type of swinging motion. My hips aren't doing the work. My arms swinging aren't doing the work. Eight seconds left and then hammer curls. Five seconds. Now hammer curl. Again, I'm going into an alternating. That way, don't drop down in weight. I keep the weight heavy. There you go. Come on. You got this. It's only a total of four exercises per muscle group. So we're on biceps right now. That means we got two done, we got two left. So technically, you're halfway done on the biceps. I know you can feel it. I know it for a fact. I know this workout. And relax. Good. All right, so the next exercise that we're taking it into is going to be a concentration curl and an inner thigh concentration curl. So what is a concentration curl? That means you're bringing the dumbbells up at the exact same time. So your palms will continually face up. You'll go down and up. So almost like you're holding the barbell, one straight bar, okay, all the way across. But you're not. You're using dumbbells. Important. Then the inner thigh curl. For this one, we're going to be down, and you're going to be curling it up just like this. Now, I don't want to spend 60 seconds on both arms when we do the inner thigh one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do double sets of 45 seconds. Just like this, 45, 45, second round through, 45, 45. All right. Grab your weights. I'm going to the lighter set on this one. Okay? We're going to start in 10 seconds. So I'm doing the lighter set so I can keep the form together because I don't want you alternating your curls on this. In three, two, one. Good. Absolutely no alternating of the curls. So if you're using a heavier weight, make sure that you can get every single rep. Go all the way up, all the way down. Fully straighten the arms. If you straighten your arms out, you'll get a long, lean bicep. If you do a short curl where you stop about halfway down, you're going to develop your bicep into a shorter muscle. It won't be as long. It won't be lean looking. You'll get a little uh, gap in your bicep. You don't want it. It doesn't look right. It's not the toned look. Definitely not the Hollywood look, all right? You go, come on. We're doing our full 60 on this. Then we're going to do 45 seconds on the inner leg one. So you got 15 seconds left. Keep those palms up. Come on, you got it. Eight seconds left. Almost there. We got five seconds. Keep pushing on this. Three seconds. Two, one. All right, sit down on a chair. Take it on the inside. Now, with this one being a single arm movement, probably go up in weight, obviously, okay? But I'm going to leave it here so I don't waste the time transitioning. And I can feel it pretty, pretty, pretty intensely. Even though it's a 10-pound dumbbell, I'm feeling it. I'm liking it. So what's fun about these home workouts, you're not getting judged in the gym. Someone's not making fun of the weight you're using. There you go. Come on. Got it. Keep it up. That's it. Got 15 more seconds on this arm. Almost there. Doing good. Got five more seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Other arm. Same thing. Straight into it. There we go. All right. So the arm that was the last one to do inner thigh curl is probably rested up. So make sure you get some good reps on it. Then the next time when we start this, Start with the opposite arm. So start with the one that you saved for the last. If that makes any sense whatsoever to you. There you go. I'll just shut up and you just curl, all right? You just curl those weights. Get those dumbbells going. We're almost there. Good. Keep it up. Only a few more seconds on this. We're catching a quick rest. And we're doing our concentration curls again. Ten more seconds. Come on, you got this. Good. Keep your elbow pressed against that inner thigh in there. And relax. Good. All right, shake it off a minute. So, again, concentration curls. So bring the dumbbells up at the same time, back down at the same time. Keeping those palms face down, just like that. All right, we're going to start in 10 seconds. So get some water if you got time. It's close. So this one will take us down to our 45-second count. In three, two, one. Here we go. Concentration. Up and right back down. There you go. Make it happen. So on this one, these 
last two right here, and then we're done with biceps. Then we're gonna take it into triceps. Here you go. So we should make a pretty decent time on this workout. There you go, that's it. Keep it up, come on. Make it happen. It's not the full 60 seconds, so this round is shorter. There you go. May not be easier, but it is shorter. Let's increase that speed a little bit, myself included on that. Good dumbbells up, right back down, but no swinging. Don't let it swing. Come on, we got it. Good, keep it up. Five seconds left. Three seconds left. Good, all right. Sit down. All right, I'm gonna start with the arm. That's safe for last, last time. Okay, there we go, that's it. Perfect, keep them going. Keep them going, keep them going, keep them going. Let's keep those reps. Almost there. That's it. Good. Come on. Keep moving. Don't worry about the time. I'll tell you when you get there. You just keep those reps going. That's it. Proud of you. Keep moving on this. Keep working. You start slowing down, turn your music up louder. Come on. Keep pushing on this. Move through, dig through, get through that. Come on. You want tank tops for summer? Summertime is here. You go. And switch, other arm, same thing. 45 seconds, let's go. Excellent. There we go, all right. Let's keep moving on this. We've only got one more round next. It's gonna be the 30 second count. 30 second count, coming up. Gotta get through this one right now. So let's keep it up, let's keep working. Don't stop. There we go, that's it, that's it, that's it, come on. Do this. Promise. Working. All right, I want you to get your rep count up a little bit faster on this. Speed it up. Here we go. Come on, pick the pace up, pick the pace up. We've got 10 seconds left, pick it up. Here you go, five seconds left, come on. And relax on that, all right. Good. Now, last set, concentration throw. Going back into our 30 second count. This last one, I'm gonna go back to the heavier dumbbells. All right, you ready for this? It's a 30 second count. Start in three, two, one. Here we go. So dumbbells up, right back down. Palms facing up. Good. There you go, that's it, come on. Get your rep count up. Don't slow down, we got 18 seconds. So we'll go by quick. Come on, keep moving, keep that form good, good and clean. Eight seconds left. Three seconds, come on. Two seconds, perfect. All right, get in that chair. Inner thigh concentration for 30 seconds in three, two, one. All right. There you go. That's it. We're making it happen today. This is it. Come on. I'm gonna fill this one tomorrow. I wanna be sore. Ah, means we worked hard for it. Means our body's changing. Means we're getting results. Love results. Especially results you can see. Good, now switch, other arm, here we go. All right, perfect. My left arm's definitely not as tired. Maybe you should've worked it harder. Come on. Got this, you can do it. You can do it, you're almost there. 15 more seconds. Then we're going to different muscle group all together. Melinda, you got this, five seconds left. Two, one more. Good, all right. So now, shake it off. We've got biceps done, top muscles right here, top ones. Those are finished. Now we're going into triceps, the bottom ones, okay? They're called the bat wings, the uh, whatever this is called, okay? We're gonna tighten that up. We're gonna make it look good for summertime. So what we're starting with, we're gonna start with skull crushers, and we're going to be flipping over and doing a diamond push-up. Now, the diamond push-up or the close push-up can be done on an incline, and I'm actually gonna recommend that because I think you'll get more out of it that way. 
All right. Um, I'll keep the chair here. You should be able to see it. So grab your dumbbells. Skull crushers will be on your back. All right. You start with one dumbbell. You can use two dumbbells. I'm going to start with two. If you use one, though, just hold it bell to bell, and you're going to go down towards your forehead and right back up. Okay? So we're going to start the 60-second count in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So with this one, especially if you're using two dumbbells, remember, keep your elbows pointed up at the ceiling when the dumbbell is coming down towards the shoulders. Okay? That way it doesn't turn into a press. If your elbows are pointed at your knees or lower, then you're doing a dumbbell press. You're not doing a skull crusher or a tricep extension, whatever you want to call it, okay? So keep them pointed up, bring the weight down towards your shoulders, towards your forehead, push the weight back up. So literally, you're bending from the elbows to the hand, and that's it. Nothing else is moving. Good. Keep working on this. All right, get ready for the transition. It's coming up in about 10 seconds. Five seconds. And set your weights down. Don't smash your hand. Pay attention to where your other weights are. All right, close grip against the chair. All right. Now this one, you're going to get tired really quick. Okay? This is a very concentrated movement. Just keep your hands closed, keep elevated. Do it on a chair, do it on a table. But keep pushing. Come on, let me get some more reps out. There you go. That's it. Come on, keep it up. You may only be able to do five or six at a time and rest. That's all I'm doing. You may be able to do them straight through with no rest. Give it all. Everything you got. Results are determined by you and how hard you work. Come on, I'm just guiding you. I'm just telling you what exercises to do, really. Come on. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it off. We're going back down, starting with the tricep. Extension, skull pressures, whatever you want to call them. All right, in eight seconds. Woo! In five, four, three, two, here we go. All right, again, first set was your warm up set. First set never feels that bad. It always kind of tricks you. You're like, oh, that's easy. And then you get to the second set, and you're like, ah, oh, Charlie Horse. That's how it's supposed to be. That's the norm of it. That's what I like. All right, I'm going to an alternate. That way I keep my weight up and I don't sacrifice my form. Now we're 24 seconds in. We're going to 45 seconds. Come on. 45 seconds to work on this one. 10 seconds left. There you go, that's it. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, good, okay. Back into the diamond, elevated push-ups. Go. That's it. Okay. Woo, keep working. 45 seconds only. Got this, we got this, we got this. Come on. We're gonna make it. If it's only a few reps at a time. There you go, that's it. Now you get better. Just keep pushing. Come on. Woo! Got this. Come on, that's it. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. I'm going to try to fight through. Come on. See if you push through with me. Don't stop. Even when you want to. Five seconds. Definitely want to stop. Three seconds. Ah! And relax. Perfect. Okay. We got our last set coming up in 30 seconds. So I was doing push-ups, I was looking at my fingers. I used uh, turmeric last night, one of the spices to cook with. It stained my fingers yellow. I thought I washed them good enough. I guess I didn't. All right, 30 second count. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, I'm going right back into the alternating. 
But if you're still doing them in a concentration style at the same time, keep rocking it. If you've gone down to one dumbbell, keep rocking it. Come on. Got it? There's no one there judging you. It's just you, maybe you and a friend. That's it. Just keep working. Here you go. Got five seconds left. Good. Dumbbells down. Back up to your feet. Close grip push ups. This. Come on. Even if your fingers are staying yellow from spices. <laughs> okay, keep moving on it. Keep pushing. I don't care if I'm resting. You keep working. There you go. Come on. Here we go. That's it. Here you go. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We're gonna make it through. Good. Excellent, almost there. Three seconds, actually. And relax. All right, perfect. So now we got those done. So what we're going into next is gonna be the standing tricep extension with a dip. Now, I want this to go even faster, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a seated, Tricep extension, the 20s. So weight will be up overhead, then bring it down and right back up using both hands. Now I originally wrote it as a standing, so you can stand and do the same movement. I'm gonna do it seated because we're gonna superset it with dips. So I'm gonna be right back on this chair and I would like my trans transition, transaction, my transition to be even faster, okay? In three, Two, one, here we go. 60 seconds. So we're right at 21 minutes right now, so we'll be about 24 minutes on this entire workout. Okay, keep working on this one. Now, this one, you wanna keep the elbows up as well. You wanna keep them in. Woo, it will get tiring quick though. So again, especially when your triceps start to get worn out, it might get really tight real quick. Always have. So make sure you're using a weight that you can handle and either rest really quickly on your shoulder or that if you got to drop or get away from it, you toss it without hurting anybody. Whew. Okay. Almost there. We're 44 seconds in. Now, there we go. That's it. Come on. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Good. All right, so now we're going into dips in three, two, one. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be rough. Okay, ideally you wanna go lower than I'm going and you want your feet to be farther away. But if your triceps are as tight as mine are, which I know they are, then the reps may be a little bit shorter for these dips, okay? More like a quarter dip, that's okay. The closer your feet, your heels are back towards your butt, the easier it is. But in this case, it feels just as hard. So if you're doing the quick little pauses in between, keep them short. Don't let them take up the entire time. It's easy to let that rest just continue. Man, oh man. So I want it. I want it. I want it to be tight. I want it to be hard. Come on. What's that? That's what you're paying me for. But you're not. It's free. So keep working. Three, two, one. We're just gonna suffer together. Okay, so that set's done. We're going into our 45 second count now. So dumbbells back in hand. One of them for the seated or standing tricep extension. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, you're almost there. Good. All right, I'm gonna try not to look at the time. I'm just gonna look at you in the screen. Eye contact, deep eye contact. Doesn't hurt if I don't think about it. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! Like my good friend used to say, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Right? All right, come on. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. I'm not minding, but it's definitely mattering. I'm feeling it. It's there. 10 seconds left. Good, come on. Good, all right, weights down on that. Into dips. 
45 seconds of love right here. Let's go. Good. Okay, so keep it going. Give it your best. Woo, my best isn't very pretty. It's my best, I can tell you that. Working. Good. Come on, we got this. It's middle of the week. Man, those 10 seconds never felt so long. Almost there, though. Almost there. Got this. Just keep it up. Close. Five seconds left. Two. One. Good. All right, shake it off. So this is our last set coming up. Last set. This is it for today. This is it. 30 seconds. Tricep extensions. Set back in five seconds. You've your dumbbells. All right. In three, two, one. Let's see what we can do. Down up, down up. That's the movement. Sounds good as far as the pace goes. See how it works. 10 seconds in. Seventeen seconds in. Twenty-five seconds in. <laughs> Keep pushing. Don't stop. Don't stop. Two. One. All right. Now in the dips. In three. Two. One. Here we go. All right. This is it. Keep it up. Short reps, high reps, fast reps. Any reps you can do. Push it out. Halfway. All right, we got 10 seconds left. Those little pauses in between short. Three, two, and one. You made it. It was a short workout, a short upper body blitz, but I know if you pushed through, you did the supersets, you kept the rest short. Even if it wasn't pretty, I know you got a great workout. We get those areas, the biceps, the triceps, getting sexy for summer. I love you guys. Be back Friday for an even better workout. I love you.